Hey everyone, welcome to Satisfactory News. Have you seen all those awesome videos going around lately of cool and creative ways to make your rectangular boxy factories look better? They're full of awesome creative ideas, but honestly, I'm kind of lazy and I don't always feel the creative inspiration. I also don't want to just copy another YouTuber's design if I can avoid it. So today we're going to cover a few simple ways to spice up your factory buildings in ways that won't take long to do and don't require a ton of creativity or ingenuity to use. Number one, mix colors and textures. You can make your box shaped factories a lot more interesting by adding textures and colors. A mono colored box is boring, but if you add some columns or bands of a different color or different material, it can make things a lot more interesting all while still keeping that boring box shape. If you use walls, you can create some sections of a different paint color or use one of the other materials like a metal wall that gives a totally different texture and look. If you're building using platforms, you can mix materials like adding concrete. One of my favorite things to do is if a factory has a floor that floats above the ground in some parts of the terrain, the walls above the floor can be regular walls, and the base that extends from the floor to the ground can be concrete or another distinctly different material to represent a sort of foundation. Number two, build with frames. Frames and frame foundations can really help spice up a boxy factory. In fact, I made an entire factory building made up of only frame walls and foundations, and I absolutely love how it looks. I also think they're really cool when you need to elevate something small, like in this case where I needed to route some belts above a train track. A full wall would be too disruptive, but the frame walls and foundations are see-through enough that they don't block much. They also have perfect snap points for attaching belt supports, so they won't interrupt your construction. Number three, columns. One of my favorite simple ways to break up a boxy factory is just to add columns from top to bottom. I prefer using the large concrete pillars and clipping them halfway through the wall. The easiest way to do this is to put a platform down next to the wall and use the snapping points on that platform to get the pillar to sit perfectly centered on the edge of that platform. Then you can just zoop to the top and bottom of the building. There are a lot of ways you can place the pillars. You could put down two flanking a front door at the center of your factory, or you can evenly place them such as every three walls or something like that. Number four, walls of windows. One of the easiest ways to break up a boxy building made up of walls is to simply replace an entire horizontal band of walls with your favorite window design. A super simple way to make the building more interesting from a distance and can even show off the factory within when you're close up. But I'll give a bonus tip here as well, which is that you can clip walls over windows. This means you can use angled walls to clip over windows and get angled windows in custom shapes. So if you want to do something a little more interesting than just a flat wall of windows, you can add little angles every now and then or create a whole wall of windows and walls to make a logo. Number five, fake pipes. The real world is full of seemingly random pipes sticking out of walls and going back into them. Who even knows what those are for? But even if your factories aren't using fluids, you can make your boxes a little more interesting by adding pipe wall holes to your walls and putting pipes around them. You can also paint your pipes, you can make them a lot more interesting. Try varying the lengths of the pipes and adding some that go around corners or make bends. I highly recommend the horizontal to vertical build mode for them. You can also use a mixture of Mark 1 and Mark 2 pipes to create differences in texture. There's a lot you can do here. Number six, create depth. Part of the reason that boxy factories are so boring is that their faces are flat and lack both depth and texture. I already covered how the texture problem can be solved by using different materials, but how can you solve the depth problem? We can do that by creating a facade that has depth to it. The easiest way to do this will be to use platforms. That way we have an entire platform's worth of depth to work with. So give yourself a platform to work with on the front wall of your factory. One way to add depth is to have an entirely flat wall except for some windows that are recessed. You can do one-off windows or you can create an entire column of recessed windows, perhaps with a ramp at the bottom, an inverted ramp at the top to transition between both depths. One of my favorite building designs that I've done uses angled walls and windows at various depths to create a large angled facade, which was inspired by this building I saw while driving around in Cyberpunk 2077. Using the real world and other video games as inspiration for your buildings can really help a lot. When I saw this building, I could practically see how it would come together in Satisfactory. Number seven, clip factory buildings through walls. Another fun way to make your factories more interesting is by clipping parts of your factory buildings through walls and ceilings. One of the most obvious things you can do with this technique is building coal generators so that those really tall smokestacks clip through the roof and they look like a power plant. A lot of buildings look good if you clip one side of them partially through a wall, 
but it will depend on the exact factory building you're using. But this can add a ton of texture to a wall and just make it look more like an active factory. Number 8. Use frames to create belt bridges. If you want to transport items from building to building, try sending them out and in in a variety of different floors and levels. This can make your factory seem busy and lets you create two buildings where you might have just made one before. But instead of just using a belt, you can encase the belt in frames. This can make it look more industrial, although it does have the downside of making it harder to see what's on the belt, so it's possible you might not like this look. It will look cleaner and more industrial, but also less colorful and full of movement. If you do decide to place them, just know that it can be a little difficult. I recommend you place these before you build the belt, and actually even before you build the wall hole. So those are several easy tips for making your factories look better. These are the lazy and uncreative gamers' answers to making your boxy and boring factories just a little more interesting without adding too much effort or thought to the process. After all, you need to spend more time being efficient. Fix it is watching. Anyways, if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe for more satisfactory tips and news. We'll have some Update 8 news to talk about here in the near future now that the teaser season is beginning, so stay tuned for the latest videos on the latest satisfactory updates.